Welcome back. We are now taking a look at the Empress and the Threes. The Empress, the archetypal mother, represents fertility, be that a birth of a child, an idea or creation. As we did in the last lesson, we look back. The magician was the spark. The high priestess gave that spark time to develop into a full idea, finding a direction. And now the Empress takes this spark and brings it to fruition. It is no longer just a thought, it is coming into action. There is movement, there is birth. The Empress is loving and kind. She helps those around her to develop, to mature, to grow. She brings all things forward into the world. And as we did in the previous lessons, we're going to look at the meaning in the only tarot book you will ever need by Sky Alexander. You are in a position of nurturing someone else or several others. You could be caring for children or the sick or being supportive of a spouse or a friend in need. This card could also refer to a pregnancy or the desire for a pregnancy. It is appropriate for you to be nurturing now, for you have the inner strength and the ability to do so without depleting yourself. Before I move into the threes, let's also look back at the twos. The twos were about choice and now the threes are about the beginning of the choice made in the twos. You have chosen your path and now are taking the steps towards the new beginning, starting to put things into action. The Three of Swords. As we know, the air element of swords represents thought, challenge and observation. The Three of Swords shows a heart with three swords piercing it. This represents heartache or pain caused by the choice made from the twos. You knew whichever direction you went would lead to pain, but it had to be done. You could no longer stand between the two's crossroad. There is an ending which was closely held and had great importance to you. While the Empress is loving and kind, she knows that not all births are pain-free. She offers you comfort and reminds you that nothing stays the same. Everything grows and changes. Now for Sky's meaning. You are feeling the pain of separation, possibly in the area of love. Sometimes this card can signify a love triangle. A third party has entered into the formerly stable situation and caused the breakup, but it was ready to happen anyway. It's time to let go. Whatever has died must be allowed to disintegrate within your psychic structure. Don't try to hold on to the past. Now the three of wands, we see the man from the twos has decided he will move forward. His journey has just begun and there is still time for him to turn back. He knows he can't stay here much longer, but if he goes any more forward, he can't turn around. Since wands has the fire element, while feeling apprehensive, he feels excitement at the possibility of change and to fulfill his dreams, his passions felt within. Now for Sky's meaning, you have consulted your situation, business or enterprise and now can expect financial and or personal gain. By clearly defining the role you want to play, you present a positive picture to the world. This confident attitude may draw helpful people towards you or attract beneficial circumstances. You have established a solid foundation for your business or occupation and can expect cooperation from others. At this point, you are clear about who you are and what you intend to achieve. Others will respond positively to you. Before I move on to the cups, I just wanted to mention, you can see the difference between my meanings and Sky's meanings. And you'll also find when you read another book, there'll be a totally <laughs> different meaning as well. I might actually um, do Sky's and and use another book um, so you can see three lots of uh, different meanings but you'll see that they all link in like I said with my course and my interpretations I'm keeping them really basic so you have the chance to build on them to build your own interpretations to use your intuition to feel what's right for you the three of cups is the card of celebration and remember the threes are about new beginnings this is showing you embarking upon an endeavor of the heart. 
there is love and support around you, you're feeling this new opportunity is the right direction for you. This card can also point to the birth of a baby, a wedding or a celebration or following a new passion or love. Now let's look at the book meaning from the only tarot book you'll ever need. You are experiencing success and plenty, a time of merriment and celebration is at hand. Your feelings are clear now and you're understanding your emotional patterns in a positive growth producing way. You are now on your way to great things. And as always, we finish with the pentacles. The three of pentacles shows a man and he's showing his work to potential customers. The twos show a man juggling his balance in his life. And now in the threes, he has decided he can no longer hold up those balls. He has taken action in his physical life to make changes to grow. He is hoping his new endeavor will pay off soon. Being of the earth element, this could be related to health, home, money or work. This new beginning in the three of pentacles normally stems off past work or effort. And lastly, we have sky's meaning. You are acquainting remarkable skills, preparing yourself for action in the world. Perhaps you're a recent graduate or have gone back to school to upgrade your skills or change your career. You are enterprising and may be interested in commerce or a specific trade or business. You can anticipate a rise in prestige and earnings. This card can also indicate a payback period when you demonstrated your abilities and began to reap the rewards of your efforts. Or you could receive money that was owed to you. Next we'll be looking at the fours and the emperor. So I will see you then.